So in this demo we're going to see how to add functionality to JDeveloper using the tools, external tools menu. So for our demo we're going to use a um, utility called CheckStyle, which is an open source utility that checks the style of your Java code. And we're going to see how to add it into our JDeveloper environment. So there are two, or actually more options under the external tools when you define a new tool. Okay. One is to just invoke an external program with a command line, another one is to use the Maven, and we're going to actually use Apache Ant tasks to do the integration. Okay. So the first thing you want to do before you actually add the Ant task is define an Ant task, like the one over here, that actually builds, or in our case, checks the style of your Java code. So let's look at this file. And this is a regular ant build file, okay, using the check style syntax. And we have actually a target here that is called check style all, okay, which checks a full directory. So it accepts a parameter which is a directory, okay. And we also have a regular check style a target which checks a specific file, okay. So the parameter here is a file. Once you define those um, ant tasks, you can go and add an option in JDeveloper to actually invoke them. So we're going to use external tools and we're going to define a new tool using the Apache Ant option. Okay. We need to point to this um, Ant file. So in our case this file is located here. And then we can choose which of the targets we actually want to run. So let's first do a regular single file test. Then we can add properties. So in this case the property is called file and that's the name of the parameter in the build file. And we're going to provide it with the file path. Okay. We can tell it which ant version to use. Um, we can tell it a specific working directory. and we can add additional libraries to the ant class path, which is something we actually need to do in this case. Um, so we actually want the check style all jar file to be part of our integration. And then we are going to have a menu item, and in this case we'll call it check style for file. Okay. We can actually choose an icon other things. And then we can decide where to place this option. Okay, so we can edit for example in the tools menu as well as in um, the source editor context menu if we want to in this case. Next, finish and that's one option. Let's add another check style. Okay, again we're going to use the end option. Use the same file. This time we'll do the check style all, which accepts parameter called beer. And in this case we're going to path the file directory location. Again, going through the regular steps that we did before, adding the library. Sorry. And in this case we're just going to use the navigator context menu. So we'll see the two different ways of showing it. And then we click OK. So there we go. Um, now we're actually ready to start integrating things. So for example we can go into the sample Java file and from the source menu okay, we'll now have the option to check style for file. When we click it we get an Apache Ant window in here and we can see where the arrows are. Okay? So for example we can see that we're missing a javadoc comment Okay, over here. So we can just go over here 
and under source request to add a java doc comment okay save this and we can invoke the option again I want to invoke it from here okay and again this time we can see one less um, remark about java doc in the same way we can also choose something from the navigation menu okay and in this case we can check style the whole directory of those files okay and then if you look at the log window you can see information about untitled one java as well as sample java and again it's very easy to click on something and navigate directly to figure out what the error is so that's it